What's up, Glue Dots? Gosh, it has been a minute. <laughs> it is today's July 1st, and last month completely spaced out the live until like at the minute I was supposed to be doing it. But life was really just crazy that day. I don't even remember now looking back what was going on. I just know that I just was thinking maybe I should wing it and go for it, but yeah, it was not going to happen there. <laughs> just, just too much craziness. I think we had just gotten back from somewhere or something like that. But anyway, how the heck is everybody? It has been, it feels like it, well, it has, it's been two months, I guess, today since I didn't get on last month. How are you all? What is happening? What is new? What is going on? We have in our house, it seems like lots of stuff going on. Uh, my, my brain is full. There's Sabrina. Hey, Miss Sabrina, haven't talked to you in a long time. Hi, Sharon. Good to see you guys. Awesome. Awesome to see you all here. So tell me, whoever's here, aside from Sabrina and Sharon, I know there are more of you, shoot a little hi in there or something so I can see who all is here with me. Um, <clears throat> I made an executive decision today to not do a giveaway. So those of you here for just the giveaway, sorry. I'm giving you fair warning from now. Um, hi, Diane. And oh, Natty's here. Good to see you guys, Terry and Cynthia. Hi. Wow, I love it. I love that you're all here with me. And it was really funny because I was sitting here, my husband was working downstairs and I thought, okay, this is great. I'll do my live. He's working later. We'll come together and go do something. We're away at our cabin this weekend. And then he calls up to me and he said his meeting got canceled. So that was at 1.30. And he's like, what are you doing? And I said, I'll call it too. So I, I decided to stay here with you guys. He took a motorcycle ride. I may join up with him afterwards. We shall see. But anyway, I'm glad. Thank you, Sabrina. I missed you too. It, it was really strange not being on. Um, Sharon, yes, I am going to be doing the Greek festival in Vegas this year. So I kind of toiled with it, went back and forth because it's one of the more expensive events that I do, but I still have a lot of stuff that I need to, to move. And so, um, yeah, Vegas is one of my best places to do it because it's quite an eclectic crowd and a big crowd. So hi, Liz. <laughs> um, so some of the stuff that's been going on that's been occupying my brain yeah, I hope to see you there, Sharon. Make sure you, again, remind me who you are when I see you and that it's um, from YouTube because I get so crazy over there. I, I forget my own name sometimes. So, uh, and there's just tons of people that come at me at those events. Um, so things that have been going on for me. So we finally have decided that we are going to put our house on the market and move to be closer to our boys in Southern California. Hello, Miss Lois. Happy 4th of July to you too. And so we decided that March is going to be the time because we were trying for sooner, but we just can't get it together. You guys, can I just tell you after 17 years of living in our house, I have stuffed every nook and cranny with stuff. There's just stuff everywhere. I, I'm kind of a hoarder, but not really. So you don't walk in my house. It doesn't look like it's hoarded with stuff, but every cabinet, every closet is very neatly, organizedly stuffed. So in my garage, I have, I had tons of stuff. I did a garage sale recently and I made about $500 on in one day and didn't even make a dent, not only in the stuff that I put out for the garage sale, but not even a dent in the stuff that is in my house and in my garage. So I have um, a bunch of my YouTube crafts that are in a couple of bins. I don't even know what to do with those. If anybody's actually close to me and you wanna come pick up something that you like, you're welcome to it. For goodness sake, I have, um, hi Francis. And hi Terry from Indiana and North Carolina. I got people from all over here. It's so great to have you all. So, um, yeah, there's so much stuff. I just, I started to get really anxious over it because 
uh, we were going to try and do sooner, but then we figured we're actually, okay, here's another thing that's been really keeping us busy. We bought a little beach house in Greece, and I don't know if I mentioned this on my previous lives or not, but craziest thing happened that over, so I have a lot of family in Greece. We go on a somewhat regular basis and actually a very regular basis because my husband's sister's there, my sister's there, my mother-in-law is there and tons of cousins, aunts, uncles. So when, um, so what part of Southern California? Kind of we're looking at Laguna Hills or Mission Viejo kind of area. So we'll see what happens. Um, but what happened was this in, in Greece, there's a place um, at the beach and it's kind of off the beaten path. It's not like um, a well-known beach area, but it's somewhere that my grandmother, her parents gave her property. So my great grandparents basically had property there, which as the dowry they gave to my grandmother. And then my grandmother passed it to my mother and my mother passed it to um, to me. So I have a little property in Greece near the beach. Um, all these years we've thought about building on it, but we never have. So in that beach area, because it's kind of a family um, area from my great grandparents, my uh, uncle has a huge home he built years ago in the 70s. Uh, my parents bought a cute little home. My sister has a home there as well. And then I have that property there. Two of my cousins have properties, my aunt and uncle, and it's all like on one kind of one road that's up on the hill overlooking the water. So purely by chance, right next door, the house right next door to my parents' house came up for sale. And so I just thought, I figured that was, that was my house. I mean, it was kind of, it was something we had to do. We just had to do it. Like, how do you not, this is not a place where houses turn over regularly and sell, buy and sell regularly. It's kind of one of those things that very rarely, because a lot of people have had the houses passed down from generations or properties passed down. So people don't really buy and sell much over there. So when this house came for sale and it was right next door to my parents' house, I mean, I kind of, there was no way we couldn't do it. So the guy was asking more than we wanted to pay, of course. And so we made a, a, a stupid, ridiculous offer that was way below what he was asking. And of course he was like, absolutely not, no way. I'm not doing it for that price. And so my brother-in-law was kind of negotiating for us since he's there. And I, he calls me and he says, what do you want to do? And I said, you know, I just really feel in my gut and in my heart, like this is my house. So let's stick with that price because this is my house. I just know it is. So sure enough, we waited. Plus I told him it's a off the beaten path place and it's coming into winter at that time. It was going into winter. I'm like, who's going to be looking for beach houses out here in the winter? Not going to happen. So we stood our ground at our, our ridiculously low price. And three months later, the guy called back because, of course, he had nobody else offering anything. And he said, fine, I'll accept the offer. Well, my brother-in-law, who's the master negotiator, said, well, that was the price we were offering then, you know, three months ago. But now we've used part of that money as a, for another investment. So now we're offering even less. So he gave <laughs> it was a little embarrassing. But you know what? The guy again ranted and raved. No, no, not doing it. That's ridiculous. No way. I had it at this much. You already cut me down. And so, you know what? Three weeks later, he called us back and he said, okay, I accept. So we got a steal of a deal on a house that is right next door to my parents' house. I had my parents, my brother-in-law and um, my sister go and look at it and tell me first off if it, you know, if we should even do it. Cause I didn't know what we, we still haven't even seen the place. So they sent me some video and some pictures and oh my gosh, you guys, it's got a, like a billion dollar view. The view is flipping amazing and I cannot wait because I am going to definitely stream live from there so I can show you guys the incredible view. So I'm super excited. 
What we were not planning, I know, way to go, brother-in-law is right. He is just a beast when it comes to negotiating. I, he's amazing. So I'm super excited about it. So um, we are going to be going. Um, oh, so we were not planning. We thought it kind of looked, everything looked pretty good. You know, when they did the walkthrough, they took some video clips and stuff. What we discovered that we had to completely rip out the entire kitchen and <laughs> redo the kitchen. So that was a little bit of a shocker. So it's a good thing we got a good price on the house. And then my sister was telling me that um, some of the tiles are falling off in the in the bathroom. So um, it's turning out to be a bit of a fixer upper in the long run, but still I am not complaining because it is amazing and we can't wait. So that's the stuff that's been occupying my mind. And the Lois, I'm actually at the cabin property right now. We have not sold it. We were debating that to see since we're planning to put our regular house, our, our regular house, I don't know, our, our, our home home um, on the market. But I think, you know, I think we're going to keep the cabin because my husband just, he really, this is like his mental escape place. So it will be a six hour drive for us once we move, but um, I think it's still going to be worth it. And at the time we bought this cabin, that was a ridiculous steal of a deal too. It was about to go in foreclosure and I think it had already started into foreclosure or it was like two days away from it or something. So anyway, somehow God's got my back on the house thing. So um, I'm just, I don't know. It's been pretty amazing. He takes good care of me. So anyway, um, what are mockle misers, <laughs> Graham? <laughs> what does that mean? Um I don't know. I hope that's not some audio off. No. I, okay. I'm reading some of these comments now and I'm not exactly sure what that all means, but um, uh, yeah. So Natty's saying that her first house was a money pit and they sold um, to a flipper. Yeah, it's now their problem. So my son is in real estate in Southern California and he is trying to find a house to flip. And so far his business partner is on his second flip and he's been doing amazing. And my son's learning a ton from him. So that's something that my son's gonna do, which has been kind of fun to be able to get, shoot ideas back and forth with my son for the kitchen. But I can tell you, it is really hard to, remodel a kitchen that you've never been in and I can't I haven't seen the stuff in person so I've been trying to work with my sister through pictures and here's a good one since most of you guys are crafters and you understand about color and things like that my sister sent me I wish I could pull it up on my phone but I can't seem to find it again on my phone she sent me this thing like a color palette thing to pick the paint color to paint the entire inside of the house. I, I'm like, are you serious? Like on my phone. So like what my screen shows, what her screen shows, what a computer screen shows, like those could all look different at any given time. So I kind of crossed my fingers. I picked one. I don't even know what it's going to look like, but my sister had the painter go and paint everything inside. Mind you in Greece, labor is way cheaper than what it is here in the States. So I know this sounds like crazy, like, oh, you're having the whole inside of the house painted. Labor is crazy, crazy cheaper there than it is here. So anyway, yeah, she sent me a picture afterwards of the inside of the house that has been painted. And she showed me two different pictures and to show me the color. And in one picture, the color looks peach. And in the other color, it looks kind of gray. So case in point that you cannot pick a color based on a video or a, a picture on the phone. So anyway, this is also some of the stuff along with life, along with me trying to figure out business and what the heck I'm doing with business. My brain has been whirling and I'm trying to just keep it, you know, kind of on the low key and not stress myself out. So Graham is from Lancaster, England. Wow, that's so cool. And Cynthia, 103 in Texas. Well, that is really hot. <laughs> um, I don't know what the weather is going to be like when we go to Greece, but it's going to be hot there as well. It's just, I'll be so 
caught up in the view, I'll just ignore the sweat and the mosquitoes. So, you know, that's all you can do. And there's, I'm not, by all means, I'm not complaining. I am so, so, so incredibly grateful that I have that opportunity and that my sister was so excited. She says, I can throw you a sugar packet out the window. And that is how close the house is. It's not like that close really, but hypothetically, not hypothetically, what's the word I'm looking? Anyway, you get the idea. It's really close. It's right next door. So um, Francis, Greece is one of the countries on your bucket list. Yes, you should go. It is an amazing place to visit. There's so much beauty there and all the years, I've been going there since I was nine years old, um, but I have not even touched the surface of how much beauty there is and how much there is to see. So I feel like now that we kind of are gonna have a, more of a base of our own that we'll be able to go and explore some of the other areas and actually make it like a vacation place because though it sounds so, um, exotic to probably some of you when you have family somewhere and i'm sure you guys can relate to this it's a little different so and then if you have your your own place to stay you're still cooking cleaning doing laundry and doing the stuff that you do and then visiting family and then trying to get in little trips um in the process so um your sister just got back from greece yeah it's it is an incredible place, the water. So I'm super excited because, um, oh, thanks, Sharon. That's so sweet of you. I'm super excited because my son's roommate, so they have known each other since elementary school, and then they uh, both went away to school, and then they ended up both in Southern California, and they ended up as roommates. But they used to play soccer together um, in junior high and high school, actually in elementary school too. But Anyway, long story to get to my point. Um, he has never even been out of the country, number one. And it's only been a couple years since he has ever even for the first time flown on a plane. Like two years ago was his first time ever flying on a plane. He's 25 years old. So he was telling my son, because they live in Seal Beach um, in Southern California, which they literally live, I don't know, 100 yards from the beach probably. And my son doesn't like to go all the time. So his roommate was telling him that he's a beach snob. And so he goes, you don't really like the beach. And my son says, no, I love the beach, but you don't understand when you grew up with the beach in Greece and then you try and go to the beach over here, though this is a beautiful beach, there's no comparison. So his roommate's like, yeah, come on, it can't be that much different. So I'm so excited for him to go and see it. Aside from the fact that he's never been out of the country, which is going to altogether blow his mind, just even the layover in Germany they have, and then going to Greece and, and that, all that stuff and what he's going to see and culturally different people and how things are done in other countries. And then the beach, holy moly, he is in for the biggest surprise ever. Oh, gosh. I've never been really to the Dominican Republic. So that would be a cool place. There are my place on my bucket list actually is Paris. And we were saving up um, air miles so that we could go to Paris and then COVID hit. So we never made it. So now that we had all of those air miles saved up for all that amount of time, we decided to use them. And for the first time ever, we're flying business class. I get to actually lay down because it's like a 13, 14 hour flight. Super excited about that because normally we, you know, buy our tickets and they're ridiculously expensive when you're traveling to Europe and we just, you know, sit in the seats like this and we get there. Right. But this time, because we had three years of saving up points, we actually get to travel business class. Yay. And I'm loading up my suitcase with like pots and pans and towels and sheets and stuff for the house. So it's going to, I'm going to have like probably three outfits and then the rest of it's going to be house stuff. Uh, was born and lived in La Rochelle, France, lived in Germany for many years. Yeah. It's when you live in, in, Europe, you're more likely to travel to other countries, which is so cool. Where when you live in the US, the US is so huge. Unless you're like East Coast, then it's not as far to go to Europe. But being in California, it's 
it's a long trip. So um, for us, really, a lot of people here in the United States, we stick to the United States. There's a lot to see here, too. There's some amazing things. I'm dying to see some of the other states and some of the places that y'all live, too. Um, so who knows? Maybe one of these years when I hit the lotto, <laughs> when I win the lottery, then uh, I'll do a, a tour and visit all my glue dots all over the country. That would be so cool. The water is beautiful in Greece. It is unbelievable. Hi, Susie. It is unbelievably clear. You can swim way, way, way out and see every pebble down below, which is just incredible. And I'm really excited about that. My my only thing that I'm not excited about is I am like a no pest strip. Mosquitoes love me. If I'm around, everybody else is good because the mosquito, my son and I, actually my one son, he and I, so if you, do you guys have any good recommendations, I bought some all natural insect repellent because I don't want to put all the chemicals on me. I've been looking up if, if those stickers that they put on kids, I don't even know if they work. Those bracelets that look like the old phone coils. Like, have you guys found anything that actually really works for keeping mosquitoes away? Because that's the only thing. I, that's the only thing that I'm not looking forward to. I get like welts from those things. I don't know. I think they... They like that California blood or something in me. I don't know what it is, but uh, your husband's from the Philippines. And every time I go on vacation, it's never a vacation. Yeah, family drama. <laughs> we don't have so much family drama, but this year, everybody is going from here. So my cousin in New York with her three daughters and her husband, my other cousin from San Jose with his two daughters and his wife, and then my parents and my husband and I and our two boys and my sister and her daughter. So it's going to be like a massive, mass of us. And sometimes logistically that can get a little bit crazy, especially when it comes time to eat, because I am a person who gets hangry. If I don't eat when I need to eat, I get hangry. And the way um, the scheduling is over there. It, they don't really eat anything for breakfast. They drink coffee and have like a cookie or a piece of toast. First off, I don't drink coffee. And secondly, a piece of toast, really, until two o'clock. They don't eat until like two or 2.30. By then, I'm like dying. I'm used to eating at around nine, maybe have a smoothie or something, have some lunch around 12.30, dinner around 5.30. Over there, it's coffee and a cookie in the morning when you get up lunch at 2.30, and dinner like at 9 o'clock at night. So super grouch when that happens. So I have to have a ton of <laughs> snacks with me. So getting people all together to fix food, and, you know, the women are always in the kitchen trying to get everything ready and set the table. And when I'm hungry, I'm just like, everybody just sit down and eat. You know, I get like, <sighs> so <laughs> anyway. Um Wow, you know what? What took so long? What took so long for people to get into, you know, whatever? I just, hold on, guys. Give me half a second here to, um, do, do, do. There we go. Um, yeah, well, it looks like you guys, we're probably going to end up having to cut this one short. Oh, Avon Skins. You know, I forgot about that, Lois. Thank you for that reminder. You know, I had done that the last time we were in Greece and it seemed to really work and it doesn't stink. So I'm going to have to, um, I think I might still have some of that. Um, how will you do with your shakes over there? So I actually did some research and I have a Vitamix here. And so um, I'm actually seeing if I can get a Vitamix from the Greek website and um, that way it will have the proper electric uh, electricity uh, did, 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 uh, electricity. So over there, they're 220 and here we're 110. So I can't really use a machine from here. So I'm actually looking into that. So um, they don't like lemongrass. Not sure if you can get essential. So I'm not, I don't, don't really use lemongrass, but um, have a lot of, I like to use a lot of fresh fruits, 
frozen fruits, um, spinach, kale. I can get all that stuff. My husband actually has been a little worried about <laughs> what I'm going to eat when I get there. I'm not worried about it though. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll stash a loaf of my gluten-free, egg-free bread um, and see if I can <laughs> maybe have some of that. So um, yeah, so it looks like you guys, we have a couple of people who there's a special place for them and it is not here that are trying to take over our chat. So unfortunately, um, we're probably going to have to end this soon if it, if I'm not able to keep <laughs> get a handle on this, but tell me what you guys do on 4th of July. What are you, what are your plans? Um, I'm not sure 4th of July falls on a Monday. There's a little parade over here at where, um, in Arnold and then in um, kind of Sonora area or Columbia. I don't know if you guys like gold country in California. They do a really cool thing where they have like the whole that in the whole little area, Columbia, it's a little town and people dress in the period clothing from way back. And they have like horse and buggies and the old uh, bank and dentist office and the little general store. And it's super cool. And so last time we had gone for 4th of July, it's been years, but they had like, um, like the good old days, like the greased pole climbing contest and the watermelon seed spitting contest and the pie eating contest. So I think we're going to try and go for that again, just to go and check it out. Um, it's kind of just good, wholesome fun. Unlike some of the people that are on here trying to sabotage this live. So, um, I don't even know what's happening right now on it. Yeah. So you guys, um, <laughs> whew, it's hard to keep up with this stuff when I'm trying to chat with you guys. So let's see. Susie, tell me you're not going to go work. Uh, that's not what you're saying. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I hope you're not saying you're working on 4th of July. Um, oh yeah, so Beverly, you're celebrating Canada Day today. Oh, it's today, cool. Well, happy Canada Day to you. I have some Canadian friends. I should probably then wish them happy Canada Day. Um, all right, I'm gonna look back here on some of the chat and see if I missed anything aside from trying to keep these crazies out of here and keep this jaded for you guys. And I even hit the thing. You know what happens? If I say that I'm going to do a live in my community tab, this stuff happens. When I go on impromptu, um, I don't seem to have a problem with this. So I might just have to not do the four warnings of when I'm going to be on here and just wing it. And sorry, but you guys remember, you know, when I'm on first of every month and pretty much same time. And so, um, oh, so Vicki, you live on a lake, you lucky duck, you. You're going to sit back and watch the weekend boaters be jerks. <laughs> <laughs> 